Welcome to the McCat Multimedia Series, a McCat analysis of Gordon Allport's The Nature of Prejudice. How do we form perceptions and opinions about the people around us, whether right or wrong? Emotions, experiences, social influences, and historical legacies all play a part. But is the fundamental source of prejudice something that's deeply ingrained in the human psychology? The American psychologist Gordon Allport published The Nature of Prejudice in 1954. It was an influential study that explored the root causes of a stubborn problem. Allport considered all factors related to prejudice, but came to the conclusion that stereotypical categorization is present historically throughout all types of cultures. He put forward a theory, the least effort principle, to explain this suggesting that all human brains use stereotyping as a normal cognitive function to process information, a kind of mental shortcut to understand the world. Was Allport right? Do our minds stereotype people thanks to an inbuilt blueprint? Let's consider a job position and the selection process that determines who will fill that role. A manager will be making judgments about job applications based on a limited number of factors under time constraints. They'll rely on resumes, references, test scores, and interviews. Short of giving every candidate a trial period in the position, using up valuable money, business resources, and time, there is no way of guaranteeing the best person is chosen. So, how does the manager decide? Allport's least effort principle is used. Assumptions are made about each candidate using the limited information that the manager has been presented with, how a candidate was dressed, how punctual they were, or how well their resume was written. If the candidate was scruffy and unkempt, the manager might assume they were disorganized or haphazard. If they were late for the interview, a manager might assume that they have bad timekeeping skills. All these assumptions are stereotyped perceptions based on preconceived ideas rather than on fact. It could be that the scruffy candidate was in fact very organized, or the late applicant was held up through no fault of their own. But in the case of the job applications, stereotypes fill in the gaps and enable the manager to make a decision without using valuable business resources. Although stereotyping is used by the brain to reach conclusions, it is often not a reasonable or accurate way to form an opinion. Allport therefore theorized that stereotypes were the foundation of prejudice, which was in turn the primary cause of discrimination. He suggested that, contrary to much of the writing of the time, there was no reasonable basis for prejudice. It was an idea of profound implications for law and society. Gordon Allport's text is seen as a classic. It provides relevant insight into the prejudices that still permeate modern society today. A more detailed examination can be found in the McCad analysis.